Here I'm going to show you how to use the not function. It's a very, very simple function that allows you to change true to false and false to true. It just reverses a logical value. It's very, very simple. Equals N-O-T, open parentheses, one argument, which is logical. What does logical mean? It means pop a true or a false in there. So if I just type true right in here, it becomes false. If I type false in here, it becomes true. Now, there's not really much point in typing it in like that. You would do something like this, refer to a cell that has true or false already typed into it. And it's a very, very useful if you have complex conditions and complex checks. Let's say you've got an if statement. You spent a long time creating a really complex if statement. But now you just want to reverse how the logical test in the if statement works. So here's your if statement. You've got a logical test right there. You just want to reverse it. We'll surround it with the not function, and it will change how it works. Just reversing it. So that's where it's quite helpful. I'm not going to cover any advanced if statement examples here. I have many tutorials on that already. But I do want to show you a nice simple example where it could be helpful. So let's say you're up here and you want to check if this cell is empty or not. And you only want to output true if it's empty. Well, we have a nice little function here is blank. Checks whether a reference is to an empty cell and returns true or false. So if I use it regularly, is blank is going to return false. But let's say that's going to mess up my if statement. I want it to return true if it's not empty. So all I do is put the not function around it just like that. And false has become true. And just to round it out, because I don't really like leaving these sort of naked logical tests, let's go ahead and make one tiny little if statement. So I'm just going to take my logical test, I've built it over here, I've made sure it works well, and I'm going to paste it right here inside my if statement. You can see it immediately becomes slightly intimidating when you have these three functions just like that. But build it outside, combine it into one function, and then it's not that difficult. So output true if not empty. Cell is not empty. Cell is empty. All right, cell is not empty, and cell is empty. And that's all there is for the not function. It's a useful little function that works really well with your other logical functions and formulas in Excel.